Gaming X, respect the tech, salute the gamers. Welcome to the Cloud Gaming X channel. What's up, fellas? Welcome to the Cloud Gaming X channel. So today I want to give you guys an overview of GeForce Now running under Nvidia Shield TV Pro 2019. So the reason I'm making this video is that people see this device as a good multimedia device, uh, a good setup box to be able to play your favorite movie streaming applications like Netflix, Hulu, YouTube TV, YouTube, and all that fun jazz. But something people fail to realize at times is that this can actually pass as a video game console. It actually comes with a control. Well, it doesn't come with a controller, but you can purchase a gaming controller like this one right here. And uh, with GeForce Now, you can actually purchase um, AAA titles, games like Destiny 2, Tom Classy, uh, Ghost Recon Breakpoint, Borderlands 3 from Steam, and you can actually run it on this device. And so today we're going to be looking at some AAA titles running on this device just to show you guys how it performs. My, keep in mind that this is going to be streaming, right? It's not actually on this um, physical shield hardware, the Shield TV box. I'm actually streaming this via cloud. Um, one of the big reasons why I'm covering the Shield TV is because of this service. This being a cloud gaming X channel, um, GeForce Now is really important to the service. So let me just give you guys an overview of GeForce Now. If I come in here, these are the games, some of the games that are available. These are my games. So let me go to the actual store uh, to show you guys what games are actually on here so if you click on here these are games available for you to get so you have stuff like Ace Combat 7 play uh, a Plague's Tale all this game right here if you purchase it on Steam you have access to those games right here in GeForce Now so yeah a huge library of game if you have U Ubisoft you play you can actually use those games on this device as well I'm gonna show you guys Ghost Recon Breakpoint and that's actually running through my Ubisoft Uplay account so yeah so as you guys can see here they have really really good selection again pretty much most of the games in Steam are on here um, so it's kind of missing the new Call of Duty which is a bummer because they have all the old ones here um, but anyway, you're not going to get every single game. Like I said, most of the games, but not every single game. But yeah, so this is a, le a selection. But the cool thing is they have GeForce Now included games. These games you don't have to pay for. All these games you see here are actually free to play. So you have all these games, Deuce the EX, the first origin boilings all the batman games so now these games all the lego games right here they are actually all free to play sleeping dogs watchdog uh i mean Saint row three and four sonic game sonic uh transform racer this game is epic as heck tomb raider so again these games are all free to wish it too and all that fun jazz so that's pretty cool pretty cool and then of course with the Nvidia Shield TV they have Android games made specifically for this platform now this is not streaming but I just thought I'll show you guys this as well um, so these games are designed with just for the Shield TV and controller in mind these are not like mobile ports these are actually games that uh, are were created and designed to run in shield platform so again you have Borland's 2 here Borland the pre-sequel cluster truck doom 3 so all these games final fantasy all these games you can use your controller with designed specifically for the shield marvel uh telltale series garden galaxy galaxy half-life 2 right Again, they titled this Android games, but you will not find Half-Life 2 on the Android store, right? So, a lot of games here to choose from, right? And if you have these games purchased, which I have a lot of them purchased through the Google Play Store, you can just go and Metal Gear, look at this, right? Go and play those games if you have it purchased through Google Play Store. 
So huge selection of games here guys. I mean this this is a gaming powerhouse that not a lot of people you know realize man this this is truly a, a, a console if anything with the amount of selection of games that they have. So these are all free and Android games, right? The Walking Dead, uh, the Thief, uh, the Wolf Among Us, uh, Borderlands Telltale series. So these are all free and you can play these games for free on this device. All right, but the main thing I want to get into here is GeForce Now. So again, this is the overview. This is what it looks like on Shield TV, right? You have your new release titles here, right? Which any new game that come here again, they're missing some AAA titles like uh, the new Call of Duty, but they they try to keep up. And also some games are not on here, like this supports Destiny 2, but you don't see it on here. And Ghost Recon Breakpoint, but you don't see it up here. Most popular, of course, you got Fortnite and you have uh, the Rainbow Six, Mortal Kombat, The Division, The Witcher 3, Tomb Raider. All that stuff free with shield so tomb raider is free guys you can play all these games for free bioshock borderlands sent row g4 uh sleeping this game is great if you guys haven't played sleeping dogs yet the lego games free to play you have all these games so guys a lot of freaking game paladins is on here trials fun for kids play with a remote Action game here goes breakpoint Radis on here multiplayer games right war three payday two raid squad role playing games Just, yo so many so many titles here first is so rageous on here I can actually play this because I have uh you play right sports games they don't have two K twenty but nineteen is on here I don't know why they didn't get 20. I th did 20 even come out for PC? Strategy, a adventure, simulation. So yeah, just show you guys all keyboard and mouse. So these games right here support keyboard and mouse. So if you have a keyboard and mouse, you can actually play these games. All right, so let me just show you guys what games actually look like running on this. Um, so. Again, this is Ghost Recon Breakpoint, AAA title. We know that the reviewers bombed this game, right? It didn't do good with the scores, but there are still some diehards, right? That really appreciate this game and really like this game and are dedicated. I feel a little of it. It's, it's fun, but there's so many games out right now that I can't truly commit to this. So we're going to skip all. Hopefully, they don't make me have to put all my info again should be saved so let's see if so then I might have to pause into that and then come back right into this video but hopefully we can bypass all that nonsense the one thing I do have to say that I have a hard time with um, it's just the loading time for this to start um, I feel <laughs> Feel like they need to work and that you'll see how long some of these games take to to boot up okay good doesn't look like we have to sign in looks like it's just getting right into it by itself but yeah this this is the loading time for this to start so it's kind of crazy But I can promise you guys that it does work. <laughs> so I'm trying to decide how many games I want to show you guys. Um, I'm probably going to do a little of this and maybe another game. I'm Still trying to figure out if I should show you guys Destiny or Borland's or one of those. But after this, I'll just pick another game. Just show you guys, you know, two different games running on this platform. I don't want this video to be long, so just want to keep it a little short.
But yeah, this load time is, is insane. <laughs> Look at this. It's crazy. Still lower than y'all. <laughs> Still lower than craziness, man. All right, here we go. Finally. AMD. Alright, we're gonna get right into this. Just for the actually the this it's taking quite some time, so I might just display just this one game. I don't know. We'll see. Again, don't want this video to take a real long time, but just want to show you guys what this actually performance wise what it looks like and what it's capable of. The cool thing with GeForce now is um, it's mirroring pretty much the PC port so you can actually mess with the settings right you can customize things the way it looks and all that fun jazz performance so it's pretty cool. Alright get to my character here So some people were asking, do they a they have a feature with the new Shield TV called AI um, AI enhanced? And this is me trying it on the game. It does not work. <laughs> so there you go, guys. For some of you guys asking if this works uh, when playing video games, GeForce Now, it does not work. It says upscaling is not supported, which is kind of a bummer. Man, the load, and look at this. Uh, this is me just trying to get into this game. It's been what, like eight minutes so far just for me to get into the game. My biggest is issue with GeForce now is how long it takes to just get into the game. And with the, at this rate, I'm just going to showcase this game. I'm not going to pick another game because, I don't, again, I don't want this video to be extremely long, but I. Just want to give you guys an overview of the service on the now platform. So as you can see, graphically, it looks incredible. Wow. This looks really good. Well, performance though. You guys see that little freeze there? It looks really, really good though. Ooh, my aim though. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, they all over the place. I like the movement though. I need a gun. Ooh, look at my guy, it's all muddy. How do I change guns? Taking off my silencer. Ooh. Oh 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, how many of these people are there? And how many bullets does it take to drop one? Jeez Louise. Woo! Well, I suck. <laughs> That's crazy. But again, you guys saw the graphics there. You guys saw the performance. So I'm gonna get to a second game. <laughs> Just want to again showcase that I I haven't really played that game much, so I do apologize if it wasn't the greatest <laughs> gaming experience. But this game I've put in a couple of hours, so um, should show you guys. Hopefully, more skilled in this game than I was with Breakpoint. But again, the vi the the purpose of this video is just to show you guys the quality of the game to let you guys know that. You actually can play AAA titles on the service on this device. So again, Destiny 2, and this is me actually going to my Steam library and accessing. So if I want to play a game like Devil May Cry, Counter Strike, I can do all that on here. But today we're choosing to go into Destiny. All right, so just check out the loading time. Yeah, this does this. I don't know why. There we go. The Steam community access while playing. Oh, wow. Ooh. Ooh, look at that loaded up pretty quick. Maybe, yeah. Wow. I am in destiny. That was that was pretty amazing. Seriously impressed. That through compare that to break look at this. I'm I'm in. I'm wow. Really impressive. This is actually booting out r really quickly. So maybe it's Ghost Recon that just sucks. <laughs> but gonna get into what do we have here? The night or deal. Ooh. Let's do this. Hopefully they put us with um Yeah, they rank us up with different guardians. But I'm not gonna play this whole night fall through. Again, just wanna showcase the graphics and the performance of this the service. Having a little connection ding right there, but it should be all right. I, you guys have seen me stream this game on this channel, and by far, that was the fastest, the fastest that I've seen this game boot up. I that was incredible. If it if it can boot games like this on GeForce Now that quickly, then I. The biggest issue I have with the service is how long it takes to boot up a game, but that was really impressive. I've never seen it boot up that fast, but I will take that though. By the way, if you guys haven't played Destiny, this is a great game. I know this game has got a lot of flack because it's a looter shooter and there's a lot of grind involved. But when it comes to gameplay, this game by far has one of the best gameplays. It, it's, if, if you played Halo, you know what I'm talking about. The gameplay is just incredible. Right, look at the graphics guys. Look at this. Insane. Insane. Nuts. And remember this is PC. So if PC is doing 60 FPS. Best believe on here on GeForce Now is 60 FPS. And let me just get to the setting. So I can show you guys. Alright so if you go to video. You have it at 60, 
1080p can bring the res I have a 1080p monitor but if you have a 4k display you can bring it up there too so you can all the settings of PC uh, on here not consoles so that's the benefit of running something like GeForce now and don't forget guys this is still free it's still in beta once it gets out of beta you have to pay for it but this is still free as long as you own the game on PC on Steam you can have access to it but yeah it runs really smooth no hiccups and again graphic wise it looks incredible just like it would on PC so I'm not going to go through this whole mission again just want to give you guys a little rundown of what Destiny 2 looks like running on the GeForce Now platform. I do have to say, I'm not the biggest fan of the GeForce, uh, the Nvidia Shield gaming controller. What I normally do is I just plug in my Xbox controller and I use that. I don't like this gaming control that I made for it. It's too... It's hard to get like precision kills. It's hard to aim it feels like compared to the Xbox controller which personally I feel like is one of the better controllers. Like look at that. It's hard for me to aim with this controller. Oh, just. What I might just end up doing is pairing my Xbox Bluetooth controller if I want to be serious about using this to stream and game, right? Alright, fellas, I'm gonna end this video here again. Just want to give you guys a rundown of. Um, what this game actually looks like on the GeForce Now platform give you guys an overview of what GeForce Now really is and how it runs on the Shield TV alright fellas appreciate you guys watching there we go this game is too fun to stop man <laughs> I love this game alright appreciate you guys Ooh, nope it's too good Okay, for real this time. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll catch you next video. Till next time. Peace.